Anyway, the president is looking to uh, change the way we go about our space ventures going forward. He's still committed to NASA, he says, but in large part, maybe it's time we privatize or work with private enterprises, much like Elon Musk did, uh, to sort of uh, find a future for space travel. A lot of people are getting a little angry about this. Uh, uh, at least uh, among them is, is uh, Ted Cruz, who was hoping, quoting here, I hope this uh, report proves as unfounded as Bigfoot. Of course, he comes from Texas, a big space state. Let's get the read from former NASA astronaut Clayton Anderson. One thing that's unmistakable, Clayton, and very good to have you, my friend, is that uh, while the president is committed to, to, to space in the future and even, uh, you know, revisiting the moon, none of that would occur uh, in his presidency, whether you were a one-termer or a two-termer. Um, so there isn't a lot of added money going to this. Are you troubled? Well, I don't know how troubled I can be, you know, in this world of tight budgets and deficits and things. I believe that the proposal is for about $19.9 billion for NASA, which is pretty much the standard number right. uh, over the past many years. So um, we continue to just plot along a, a little at a time, and the folks down at NASA are hugely dedicated to what they do, regardless of the amount of money that's coming in. No, you're, you're right about that, Clayton. The one thing I, I remember when the late, great astronaut Gene Cernan was here and used to talk to me, he said, this idea that you, you don't need NASA, you can privatize NASA, there is something the private enterprise simply cannot do, and you need the heft of a NASA involved in that. Or uh, I guess these days it could be an incarnation of that. But a government role, because private enterprise is not going to get you, for example, to Mars. What do you think of that? Well, I think from Elon Musk's perspective, he would disagree. And, and I think that there's a, a way for both to coexist and be successful in a partnership. Now, that partnership still has to be defined, I think. But having a government entity that is behind you if your shuttles explode and kill people and, and you're willing to put that uh, full force of the government behind you to figure out what went wrong, that's one way to look at it as opposed to, I'm not sure what the commercial guys will do yeah. if they run into heavy issues like that. So it remains to be seen for me. You know, when I was noticing, looking at in some of the, the, the pages in the budget here, that it will cancel several spacecraft, like uh, Plankton, Aerosol Cloud, some of these other initiatives that go beyond what maybe most people are familiar with. So it's scaling back on some of those priorities, still keeping that, as you say, 90 to $20 billion budget in place. So where would that other money go? I mean, uh, because as time goes on and with inflation, it's actually less money, but where do you think it goes? Well, you know, you have to prioritize in anything you do. And one of the issues NASA's had over the years, at least in my experience, is whenever a great idea came forward, we kept putting all those ideas on the table mm. and we never really pushed anything off. And so the ability to prioritize is very important, especially given the, the budget uh, constraints that we have. So when you throw in all those economic factors, I'm not sure I'm smart enough to tell you, Neil, but I know that we need to keep funding to a steady level in order for us to continue to move forward. Whether that's in a partnership and whether that gets developed, we'll just have to wait and see. But I think we can do it. Uh, what startled me when I looked at all these other countries that have raced to space is that Italy has now added its name to the list of countries eager to, to join us in space. So now everyone's in. Well, I think we need everyone. Um, mm -hmm. You know, if I were the, the king, I would bring, I would try to negotiate and figure out a way to bring China and India in with us as well. So right. if you work with people in space, you don't fight with them on the ground. All right. Thank you, my friend, very, very much. And thank you for all your service to this country. Clayton Anderson, the former NASA astronaut.